there's as many reasons for hauntings as there are ghosts. Maybe some place is haunted not because a horrible tragedy took place, but because the people who live there never want to leave. 120 years ago, here in Lenox, Massachusetts, this was the heart of the Gilded Age. The rich and powerful built cottages, though I'd call them mansions, all over the landscape. And this one, Ventford Hall, is said to be haunted. We're going to find out why. Let's go. As I walk up the back lawn, I realize this building looks really familiar. Once inside, I'm reminded why. One of my favorite movies was filmed here, Cider House Rules, based on the book by John Irving. Welcome to the Gilded Age, that best of times for American business royalty like the Rockefellers, the Vanderbilts, and the Morgans. Lenox, Massachusetts was a playground for the New York and Boston rich who were looking for a summer getaway in the Berkshires. This 28,000 square foot cottage, as they called it, was built in 1893 by George and Sarah Morgan. Sarah Morgan was the sister of Wall Street mogul J.P. Morgan, and her husband George was also her seventh cousin. Before this giant home was built, a smaller home known as Vent Fort sat on the property. The original house was owned by the Haggerty family. It was the home where 54th Massachusetts volunteer infantry colonel and Civil War hero Robert Gould Shaw spent his honeymoon with his wife, Annie Haggerty. When the Morgans purchased the land, they moved the original house to across the street. When I sit here in the dining room, I can imagine what life must have been like a hundred years ago, having servants catering to my every whim, hearing news of the day, the Titanic, World War I, all of those things in the seclusion of the Berkshires. This was the Gilded Age. This was a place that I never would have been allowed in because of my social and economic background. It was a place for the rich, the powerful. This place was exclusive. Why do you think Ventford Hall has a haunted reputation? Things happen when people are here. I talked with Trevor Dean, Ventford Hall's house manager, about some of the things he's experienced here. Have you ever had a moment where you're walking around here or you've been working and you said, wait a minute, something's going on? Uh, every now and again. It's been a lot when I'm sitting at the desk, you know, end of the day, everyone's gone. I know I just went upstairs, shut all the doors, turned off all the lights, and then I hear a door upstairs opening and closing. Or I'll hear what sounds like footsteps in the hallway. And, you know, I try to just dismiss it, but uh, it happens. Can't, can't ignore that. It, can it be unnerving though? I mean, you, you think you're alone at work or it's just you and one other person and someone's up there? It's, it's a bit unnerving. It definitely is. It's part of why I try to just dismiss it. It's, you know, if I can conjure it up to the house just being old, then, then I will. What are some of the stories you've heard other people tell, visitors or, or other employees? Um, had some people from when this was the ballet school. On this staircase, there used to be uh, a mirror right up at the end of the stairs. So when you'd come up, some of the girls would say that they would see a figure in the mirror, and then as soon as they would look back, it would be gone. And do they recognize the woman? She's dressed in 20s garb. No one's, I guess, gotten a good enough glance at her in that split second she's there to, mm -hmm. to get a, a good face, but she definitely matches a period of the Morgan family being here. Trevor isn't the only employee at Ventford Hall to encounter the unexplained. Tour guide Marsha McDermott has worked here for four years and shared some of her experiences with me. Uh, this room supposedly has very strong perfume that goes and comes. Last winter, quite a while ago, I was standing in here talking to my manager and we had been in here for maybe 20 minutes and of course all of a sudden the very, very strong, really sweet, heavy-duty perfume was right in front of me. I was almost afraid to move. Mm -hmm. So I said, Mark, Mark, I'm smelling the perfume. Now, he had smelled the perfume many times because, you know, this was his office. He said, Marsha, where is it? And, of course, I moved to kind of, where is it? And, of course, disappeared just like that. Wow. Well, I'm a believer now. We think it's Sarah because this was really her house. This right. was her morning room. And she died unexpectedly. She died at a spa in Germany, actually, on vacation. And when Sarah's husband, George, died, his body was laid in state in our dining room. So okay. I don't know if his ghost is here or not. George Morgan was known as a bit of a womanizer. He liked the ladies, he liked his drink, but loved his cigars. The library at Ventford Hall was his hangout. To this day, people claim to still smell his cigar smoke wafting among the books in his den. Women visiting this room sometimes feel a phantom hand brushing across them. Shame on you, George. 
Ghost hunter Josh Mantello has investigated Ventford Hall many times. We don't think anyone died in this mansion, uh, historically speaking. Why do you think it's haunted? You know, it, it could be any number of things. You know, you know, when you look at it, you know, a lot of times hauntings sometimes stir up when you start looking at renovations. So, you know, the building was in a bit of disrepair a few years back and they've started to really kind of rejuvenate it. So with the recent renovations and the repairs, uh, maybe they're starting to stir some things back up. They're seeing the building come back to life and they want to get involved with it a little bit. Plus it's, it's you know, it's it's got a lot of history to it. You know, besides just being a big mansion, there's a lot of history, it's a very prominent family multiple prominent families that lived here over, mm -hmm. over the years with some of their own different, you know, tragedies and, and good things that happened throughout their time. And maybe, you know, certain impressions were left behind. Every house has its own personality. It's almost like a living, breathing thing. It reflects everyone who ever lived, worked, died in a location. This house, Venford Hall, has served so many different masters over the more than century that it's been here in the Berkshires. It was built by some of the wealthiest people in America. It was their retreat, their getaway. It still echoes of the past from cigar smoke, lilac smell, strange sounds, closing doors. Maybe, just maybe, this retreat is a place they never want to leave. Would you?